is MC Barber here and today I'm gonna to talk about scissors uh, and let's just wait for someone to uh, get online <laughs> and then I'll be talking about scissors let's see if I have this actually in public or private uh, okay so we are good we have three thumbs up Somebody must be watching. We right. actually have 12 people 12, watching. Yeah, 12, cool. Yeah. Hey guys, this is MC yeah, Barber. This is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is MC Barber. And today I'm going to talk about scissors here. If you guys have any questions, I uh, will be more than happy to answer them. With me here, I have Willie from Shark Fin. And Willie, you're going to be uh, answering some questions. Reading the questions, and we'll be answering them. Okay, fair All enough. Right. Fair enough. So what scissors do you have in your hand? So I have the Shark Fin Double Shark, Japanese Hitachi VG10 steel, forged, hand welded, uh, unlimited lifetime warranty, and our bent thumb or non-swivel. Cool. Amazing shear. You know what? Let's see if let's see if we turn this way and uh rotate that way. Hey! <laughs> so this will it. make it better, right? <laughs> right. So, okay, so uh Guys, do you have any questions about scissors? How many years can a good pair of shears last, MC? Well, you we tell them. You you you're selling your scissors. They say, you say you have, they have a lifetime. Right. So we what were, does that mean? We were just talking about this earlier. We believe we sell a lifetime shear, meaning that if you maintain your shear, if you lubricate it, check the tension daily, that uh, our shear will last you uh, a lifetime. So, uh, what is a lifetime? So, <laughs> 20, 20, 25 years. 20, 20 or 20, to 25 20 years. 20 to 25 years if you properly maintain it. Here's the key, guys uh, a good shear, and what do I mean by good? Forged, hand welded, Japanese steel, Japanese Hitachi 440A, 440C, VG10, ATS 314. Shears like that shouldn't need sharpened once, maybe twice a year because you're barbers and you do a lot of dry cutting. A lot of cutting hair with uh, product already in it. A lot of dry cutting hair. Um, for me as a stylist, uh, we we uh, we cut a lot of wet hair. So I my my monarchs that I personally use, uh, they went almost 18 months before I felt like they needed to be sharpened. Deliver in UK. Does that yes. mean you, so yes. you guys are a worldwide company? Yeah, we're right? a worldwide company. We will deliver anywhere. So yes, we will deliver to the UK. Sharkfinshears.com. Pick out the shear you want. Use MC's promo code, which is the letter M and the letter C when you order, and you'll get a free pro line shear in stainless, uh, swivel or non swivel, five and a half or six and a quarter inch. I am a good barber, MC. Would you like to take <laughs> yeah, I'll take you work for me. And of course, any good barber, but uh, what's important in a good barber for me, it's a professional barber, there, there somebody that is professional. I can teach anybody how to cut hair, but it's difficult to find a professional person. Just because you are good in haircutting, that doesn't mean you are a good barber. What do you mean professionalism? Listen, listen you got to treat your your trade. Like, listen, a lot of people, this is what I tell my barbers. When you go to your dentist, you know, he's professional. He doesn't have a loud music. He doesn't talk about nonsense. Yeah. He's, a, he's a professional. He takes you as a client. He treats right. you as a client. You feel safe. You you feel you good. Go. You, you know, yeah, you shouldn't stink on cigarettes. You shouldn't smell on anything else. You should smell nice. You should you know, present yourself nice. You should do nice language. Not nonsense, man. Yeah. I, I can't deal with that stuff, man. Honestly. So uh, Edwin says that uh, love my shark fins. Excellent. We're glad you love your shark fins. What is the best scissor for blending as a barber you have? All right. So. Listen, guys, there is a few different things here. That's a good question. I myself use uh, regular scissors. I use Sharp I'm Monarch, which is the highest scissor they have. It's over here. It's a Monarch. Uh, okay, this is cool. This is Friday, but I'm... Okay. Okay, <laughs> give me left. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So I use uh, Monarch, which is a uh, uh, six and a quarter. It's their best scissor. Uh, someone just mentioned he loves them, right? Yeah. Oh, he, he has a sharp fin, so yeah. that doesn't necessarily mean. Okay, this is six and a quarter. It's really good scissor, guys. Uh, but uh, some people use blending shears, which is also okay. Uh, so depends on your uh, on your level, your skills. 
if you can use just a regular scissor is excellent if not you can use a blending scissor there you go a 40 tooth which we offer uh, we offer tooth. a shear that's called an eraser which is a double-sided blending shear oh, yeah? it cuts off the top and the bottom and it's 30 teeth on each it's a brand right. new shear for us. All right. If you go so, to our website, it's it's literally called the eraser, shark fin eraser. So maybe we can someday have a video on education on specific scissor. So if you guys are interested in that type of education, listen, my channel is designed for education, educating the barbers and stylists around the world. That's why I don't put music on my videos. I try to keep it real and natural. And uh, really, that's what it's designed for, for better education. Uh, and you know to elevate our skills to the next level so we have another question about uh, lubricating your shear how often should you do it and can you use the same oil as clipper oil so uh, guys this this is what's amazing and something that shark fin takes very serious is education right we were talking about it earlier MC you can get uh, there's a ton of education for how to cut hair how to color hair how to style hair there's virtually no education on how to choose a good tool and how to maintain your tool. And shark fin is, is separate, we're, we're separating ourselves from the rest of the pack because we're giving you that education. So you can go to our website, there are videos that answer that. But the answer to your question, Derek, is you should lubricate your shear after every single haircut. Lubricating your shear should be a part of disinfecting your shear after every haircut. Uh, it's, it's a really simple, it takes like eight seconds to lubricate your shear in between haircuts if yeah. that long right we did it earlier um check it out there's there's a video for it can you use the same oil as clipper oil i don't know technically what all clipper oils are made out of so i'm not confident and comfortable saying yes to that for us when you buy one of our shears it comes with ah it comes with <laughs> this amazing shear oil all right so how about this We'll, uh, guys, uh, I'll ask the questions regarding the cutting and Will will answer the questions regarding the yep. uh, oiling and so on. Someone has Monarchs, so there we go. So they like them. Yep. Actually, I use Monarchs myself. The good thing about uh, their scissors, guys, you get lefties and righties in everything. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you, any scissor that they have, they have them in both right and left. Yep. So... We do a five and a half, I'm sorry, a five, a five and a half inch, a six and a quarter inch, a seven inch, and some eight inch in limited, uh, limited lines. So this is a good question right here. What are some affordable shears for someone just getting into, the, you know? Uh, so uh, we, we do four lines. We do a pro, a pro plus, a double shark, and a monarch. I believe that the price of our pro plus shears Japanese forged hand welded Japanese Hitachi 440A unlimited lifetime warranty accidental drop included in the price of the shear is an amazing shear to start with and what's even what's even better is we offer that shear at a mid $300 price and now you can tell me I don't know if that's affordable to you to me it is oh, but that doesn't mean it is to whoever asked that question so right now is that a scissor that if the guy goes and orders it and puts MC as a promo code he gets two for that price <clears throat> he gets a pro plus which is which is just a step down from the pro plus okay but still that's a $300 shear all right, cool. it's, it's Japanese steel, it's forged, hand welded, uh, patented shark fin handle, ball bearing pivot, right? So the, the, the price difference is only about 50 bucks, but it's still an amazing shear. So it depends on what affordable, what affordable is for you. Is there an address? Um, so let, let's just actually, before we take all these questions, sure. Uh, what people, what you guys need to know about scissors in general, so don't, you don't think just you know, the scissors they are selling are the best scissors. Mm -hmm. You know, what you need to know about scissors in general when you're looking for scissors are three things. Three things. Okay, you want to tell them? Sure. Okay, so, guys, whenever you buy a shear, look for three things on the shear. Literally, lasered onto the shear, right? And those three things are this. How a shear is made, whether it's forged or cast, it plays a very big part in the quality of the shear and the cost of the shear. A cast shear is poured into a mold, it dries or it cools, right? It forms little air pockets and it's really fragile. You drop that shear, the likelihood of it being damaged is very high. Then you have forged where you literally take a piece of steel, you heat it up and you forge it and then you cool it, right? 
Like it, there's no molding process. And then you have our shear, which all of our shears are forged hand welded, which means the blades are forged separate from the handles. The handles are hand welded together. So look on the shear where it says how it's made. Look on the shear where it says what it's made of. When I say what it's made of, it should say specifically Japanese Hitachi 440A, a Japanese Hitachi 440C, VG10, ATS314. It shouldn't say high-end Japanese steel. It shouldn't say cobalt. So basically, they need to look for three things. Where it's made. Where it's made, what metal is made from, and how it's made. And how it's made. Okay, so it's simple. And it should be Keep on it the shear. It should be on the shear, guys. It should be on the shear. It should be lasered on the shear. So this this person says, I'm a hairdresser. I cut women and men hair. What is the best scissor that you recommend for me? So honestly, as an MC, if you are asking me as an MC barber, I use uh, Monarch from uh, Deer Scissor. Shark Fin. Shark fin. Yep. And this is about $800 scissor. If you buy this scissor, you get uh, $300 scissors with yep. it, right? So any shear, you you go to our website, sharkfinshears.com. Any shear you buy and enter MC's initials, the letter M, the letter C, you're going to get a free Pro-Line stainless swivel or non-swivel cutting shear in five and a half or six inch. That's that's MC's promo code. So this person is very happy with your seven inch barber uh, set. That's what's up. Cool. <laughs> I, I hope you bought it because of me. <laughs> <laughs> what is your, what's the disadvantages of using the thinning scissors? Disadvantages? Well, listen, depends what you're using them guys on really and what what's the reason you're using them. Uh, I don't use thinning scissors very much myself. I like using them on the kids because they move a lot. So I use them as a blending scissors, right? Because kids will, uh, you know, move their head and I just don't want to take a chance with the sharp scissors and, you know, like stab them or something. Uh, disadvantage is really if you're not using them properly, you could uh, cut too much. It creates lines so the hair will be sticking out, so on and so forth. But, uh, you know, if you know how to use them, they are just a good tool. I mean... Um, there is no tool that's really bad if you know how to use it so you can really do damage with these uh, you got to learn how to properly use the scissors so i wouldn't say disadvantages i'm not really sure if there is a disadvantage if you know how to use them properly if that makes any sense Your previous video about shark fin had a big influence. Hopefully, it was in a big, in a good. Listen, way. guys, I hope it was in, in good. <laughs> Honestly, listen, I, I like feedback from you guys. My goal is to educate barbers and hairstylists, uh, not just in, you know, in my shop, but around the world. And honestly, I get great response. I want to shout out, give shout out to Brazil, Argentina, Mexico. <coughs> and all over the world but i know these these countries especially brazil are big uh they i have a lot of fans there shout out to you guys and everyone else and re honestly i was just fortunate that in my career as a barber stylist uh, i had the best educators I mean, i'm talking about world champions that honestly taught me and i just want to spread the knowledge really that's that's all it is to it there is nothing else go ahead any other questions, guys, please feel free to ask. So real quick, uh, also, MC said this was okay, so I'll do it. If, if anybody has any questions, you can find me on Instagram as well. My Instagram name is sharkfin underscore Willie. So sharkfin underscore W-I-L-L-Y. And I give you that because uh, I, I not only work for a scissor company, I'm an educator for a scissor company, and I'm, I'm an educator for, for a wet line based out of Australia. I do hair. I'm licensed barber and cosmetologist in Florida, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Indiana. So it's not like I just sell shears. Uh, I, I do hair. I've, I've cut hair with the shears. I've cut hair with other shears. So uh, I, I would be honored if, if, you know, if you have any questions, sharkfin underscore Willie is my Instagram. Uh, I'll, I'll help in whatever way I can as well. So this question is, is, is it better to wash the hair before haircut? Yeah, it's better. I mean, honestly, I rather cut myself personally. I rather cut clean hair than dirty hair. Uh, but in real, the reality is in barbershops, uh, you can do that. Some people don't want to pay for that service. That's a service you got to charge for. So, uh, I mean, the good thing about your guys actually giving extra pair of scissors, especially if you buy high-end scissors like this. When that client comes with a dirty hair, I actually don't use my good scissors. 
I usually use the cheaper scissors, you know, the scissors that can actually be take beating and, you know, that I don't care too much about. So that's like actually a good thing that you guys give them that mm -hmm. scissor that you can use actually on dirty right. hair. Yeah. So that's a good thing, guys. Take advantage of that. So uh, again, that code, if you, if you go to our website and buy any shear, use, use MC's initials. MC, it's really that's easy. Just enter MC and, and you get that shear for free. MC, do you or can you please make a video on how to cut your own hair? Let's cut MC's hair right now. MC's <laughs> no, never all right, seen guys. me cut hair. I'll so cut honestly, heads. guys, actually, um, <laughs> that's something I was thinking to do. Uh, and it's because I don't cut my own hair, uh, my buddy who was a uh, U.S. champion 1972 cuts my hair. Uh, and I'm going to actually have him cut my hair one day and I'm going to make a video. So um, you guys won't be just seeing MC all the time. You'll see another <laughs> champion. Have you ever cut your own hair? No. I it's amazing how many people ask me, do you cut your own hair? I, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't. Uh, just met you at IBS. I bought a pair but was sold out getting them Wednesday. Can't wait. So you guys sold wait. out? Yeah. yeah, we sold out of some stuff. No, I mean, not everything. I wish we would have sold out of everything. We didn't. Uh, Wayne, I, I'm not sure if I helped you, but awesome. Welcome to the family. <laughs> That's, cool, That's cool to see that you're on MC's page. So yeah, man, we actually uh, honestly, it's been my page has been good, and you know I really appreciate the fact that people uh, follow me. Uh, but that's why I try to keep it real, you know. <laughs> what's the secret to looking so young like MC? Grow a beard. What do you mean? What's Hide the everything under a beard. What, what's, what do you mean? What's the secret? <laughs> hey, I'm not old. <laughs> I, I'm not MC. I'm the young one. That's MC. I, I'm. <laughs> Yo, I'm not old, man. What are you talking about? What's the secret of looking young? <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm only 42. <laughs> 42, 40s are now new 30s, they say. Could you talk about maintaining your scissors, like oiling and cleaning, etc.? So, I, so I we actually, no, we actually just did that. Yeah. But you know what? Go ahead, quickly do okay. it again. And guys, this is live. Uh, I'm gonna actually, we did actually a video on my high def camera, uh, and it was pretty long. It's about 40 minutes, I believe. So I'm gonna upload it and. You know, you guys feel free to watch it, and it's in more detail than this. Because we took our time to make that scissor. Oh, wait. So you want to talk about your swivel scissor? Sure, there, Hamza? sure. This? Yeah, Hamza. Is Check it out. Go ahead, Hamza. I do this nice scissor. <laughs> so this part right here can move up and down and that, twist. That's called the shark fin slider. Shark fin slider, shark that's fin a new slider. scissor. So it swivels and it slides. It's a nice scissor. It's my favorite scissor. So we do a full line of shears. Uh, Non-swivel, swivel, super swivel, and now the slider. Cool. So, so go ahead, quickly yep. tell real, them about that. Real the, quick. So part of maintaining your shear, this should be done after every single haircut. We should wipe the shear off of hair. So take your microfiber shark fin shear cloth, clean the hair off. This is part of disinfecting your, your shear in between every single guest. After we've wiped the hair off the shear, we can take a, a cotton ball, a, a makeup pad, um, a, a, a tissue, a paper towel, whatever's around your salon or your barber shop. We can take the shark fin shear oil, put a little bit. So hold on, I'm gonna take it. Okay, cool. Go ahead, like this. Good. Put a little bit on the sh on the tissue or the paper towel or whatever it is that you're using. Okay. Then you're gonna take the shear, and this is very simple. The shear has now been cleaned off with hair. You're gonna take the shear, you're gonna place it in the middle where you lubricated, you're gonna slide the shear out. You're gonna flip it over, you're gonna slide the shear out. Okay, that's lubricating after every single haircut. Then, cool. once a week, once a week, you should loosen You should loosen your tension knob. Okay, when you loosen your tension knob, you can now take a tissue or a paper towel and you can slide in between the pivot and clean all the hair out of there and water, right? You can do it from the bottom and from the top. Then you're gonna take that same shear oil you're going to hold your shear up like this 
and you're gonna put a little bit of oil right there so it will go behind the pivot, right? Because what happens is water, yeah. hair, dirt, product, it all they, gets yeah, in they, there. They don't open and close nice though. Correct. So then, open and close it, then we wanna readjust our tension. Mm -hmm. And that's lubricating your shear daily and once a week we loosen it up that way. The second thing is you wanna check your tension every single day on a shear. Cool. And the easiest way to do that is hold your shear by the thumb and open it. So, and if it opens and closes like that, it's, it's too, too loose. loose yeah. MC, what happens with it too, if a it shear folds, is too loose? It folds the hair or pushes it. So it doesn't really cut very good, even if it's sharp. So sometimes you guys, you might think, oh, my scissors need sharpening. They don't necessarily need sharpening. They just need tension. You got it. So then, the, then you adjust it a little bit. And ideally, if a shear is too tight and you open it, it stays open. If a shear is too tight, uh, you can wear down a blade quicker. You can cause fatigue in your thumb from opening and closing if you do a lot of scissor over comb. So then drop it back down, adjust the knob a couple of times, and find the sweet spot. The sweet spot essentially is it opens and closes but doesn't close all the way. So I want to pop this one more. See how that opens and starts to close but soft closes? That's what you want. You got it. Okay. MC Barber, most of your videos I saw you were using a straight so razor. Shh. Is it different than the one you're using for uh, to make lines? Yeah, it's a different than one I use for, for a shape up. It's a Tondeo razor and it's actually, I only use it for, for hair cutting. I don't use it for uh, shape up. The one I use for shape up is a Turkish razor and it's, uh, it's called uh, Sedef. What's the difference between having the teeth on the bottom or the top of the thinning shears? Thanks in advance. So that's a great question, right? So think about two blades. The blade at the front or the blade closest to us and the blade at the back and, or the blade closest to the hair. So think about, to answer that question, where if the teeth are on the blade closest to us where the hair is being removed from or if the teeth is, are on the blade closest to the head where the, the hair is being removed from. Right, MC? Mm -hmm. So one blade, if it's on the bottom, which is your typical 40 tooth, 28 tooth, 15 tooth, or seven, it's it's removing hair on the outside. So it's removing bulk and weight or creating texture. All right, we have somebody from Indonesia. Alaikum salam to Indonesia. It's, uh, they are actually big supporters too. Okay. Brazil is in the house. Nice. Buenas noches. Buenas noches? How do you say? I'm not sure. <laughs> Buenas noches. Buenas, Buenas noches. noches. Brazil. <laughs> in the house. Representing. So uh, the difference with that is, uh, for example, like we now have a shear called the Shark Fin Eraser. It's a double it's a double sided blending shear. So it's 30 teeth, but it has teeth on, on both blades. So let, let me ask you uh, a question. Sure. Um, are you guys going to have a, or do you have a scissor? You know there are scissors, and I actually uh, can you get me my uh, my uh, the other scissor? The left-handed monarch. No, just give me a blending scissor. Any uh, blending scissor? Can it be one of ours? Yes, okay. one of yours. What? That's okay. So now some companies have scissors where they have a blending scissor, and then you can actually put them yes. together. Are you guys? Do you have them or you don't? Uh, we don't have that as of right now. No. That actually, when I first time saw it, I didn't think much of it, but mm -hmm. it kind of makes sense though. So removing length and texturizing. Yes. So time. you texture behind you and you remove the length on the top. You got it. Yep. It gives you that soft finish, you know. Correct. You know, I do it with a straight edge razor, but there are a lot of people that don't use straight edge razors. So if you are cutting the length, you can, re you know, do remove the texture the length and texture what's yeah. left. All it's in a, one it's spot. a good idea to have a scissors like that. So you that. don't have to go back through a whole haircut yeah. and texturize afterwards. New picture. Assalamu to Morocco. Hola to Brazil. Yeah. Uh, how do you say? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> my, my Portuguese is not so good. Say what? How do you say hi in Portuguese? Uh, hola. Hola, hi. No. Okay, no. I guess Spanish. Uh, Spanish. Oh, no. I, could, I can give you German, Spanish, uh, All right. barely English, but I, I have nothing else. So, so uh, until we get a question here, I just want to say something, guys. I'm going to be in France. I hope there is somebody watching from France in uh, September. September, I believe, 7 and 8. I'll have better timing. Uh, two things I need from my fans from France in Paris is, one, I'm going to need a model for a competition for a fade. Uh, so I would really appreciate it if there is someone 
uh, in France that will, is willing to be my uh, model. We'll get to that. And two, I will need a barbershop or salon in Paris, France to allow me to practice and prepare myself for the competition. I will be there probably like three, four days before competition. Last time I was practicing in a hotel room, there is no lighting, it's really not a good spot. So I would appreciate if somebody from France will help me out. Are Hanzo shears worth money or are, the, are they better? All right guys, so regarding Hanzo's or any other brand, but in particular Hanzo's, I will just say this regarding Hanzo's and my personal experience with them didn't last very long. They came to my shop. Uh, in the barbering industry in the United States, I am known as a guy with the scissors. So anywhere I show up, they say, oh, the white dude with the scissors. So uh, they did pay a visit to my shop and they came to see me. One thing that I didn't like between, that didn't go well between me and Hanzo's is that I usually like to ask questions about the scissors and they were not very open with their questions. Another thing they, is that they don't put on their scissors what they are made from, where they are made at. So they could literally sell you a, a cheap scissor, which is maybe like $100 scissor for $1,000 and I tell you. And you know what? As experienced with scissors as I am, uh, I'm good with, I know how to use them. I know a lot of different techniques with scissors. But what they are made of, what the quality, I, I can't just look at a scissor and say, okay, this is a high quality scissor. I, at least I can. And I know majority of people cannot. So the companies have to be honest with us. They have to tell us what the scissors are made from. And they have to be honest where they are made, how they are made. And then we'll know if they are worth or not. I don't know if Hansel's are selling me uh, scissors that are made from ATS 314, Hitachi steel, Japanese steel, or just 440C for thousand dollars i mean how would i know so they have a catch you know they they, they will give you like a payment plan but you got to put down hundred dollars first so how do i know that a hundred dollars i gave them didn't pay already they didn't get their money back now you are just giving them money you know for so they have to be more honest i'm not going to say yes or no or whatever for them i'm not i'm not going to say anything bad uh, but they have to be more honest with us you know that's one reason that I had a meeting with a, the founder of this company and I honestly feel that he's honest. They put on their scissors, you know, everything is there. It tells you what they are made from, uh, where are they made, you know. So that's, those are the things that we want to see until uh, Hanzo comes out and tells us what they are made from, where are they made and why they are charging $1,000 for scissor, you know. Then we can talk about it, but they were not very upfront with me. And that's, I just kind of, literally the meeting lasted five minutes and I just said, have a great day. I'm not going to say anything about Hanzo, but I'll speak for Shears in general, just to back up with an M, what MC said. And this is any company, including Sharkfin, including us, right? You should want to know three things. How a shear is made. What a shear is made of specifically Japanese Hitachi 440A, VG10, ATS 314, and where a shear is made. Those three things tell you why a shear is either $50, $500, $800, or $1,600. And sometimes it should tell us enough why we shouldn't pay $1,600 for a shear. So just keep that in mind, guys. <clears throat> what do you feel is the best clientele building tool? All right, so uh, this question is for me. Yes. Wait, I, I built a clientele in West Hartford for four years. Oh, cool, but... All right, so go ahead. <laughs> no, no, please, please. Go ahead. Please. I don't know. I'll answer the sheer questions. All right, guys, so um, as I tell my barbers, right, I'll tell you the same thing. One, being professional is very important. Being Part of being professional is being dressed well. Your appearance really means a lot. Your language means a lot. You being to work before your client. Mm -hmm. Your client shouldn't wait for you. You should wait for your client. So if you start at nine o'clock, you should be at work quarter to nine, not quarter after nine. Do you understand that? That's very important. Uh, besides that, your work is your best advertisement. You see, one thing I do in my barbershop, I finish every haircut. I don't just cut hair, I finish, I style. 
So when my client leaves from my chair, he, he that's the only time that he will actually see his hair like that. He himself can never do it the way I can do it. I'm trained in, in how to do it, right? So when he step outside, his hair looks nice. People ask him, where do you get your hair cut? That is the day where he you get referrals from him. When people see his, his hair, see the style, you know, they say, oh, who did your hair? It looks great. MC Barber did it. That's how you build a clientele. So uh, finishing your styles and being professional, it really plays a huge role. And then don't, get, don't, don't be despaired. It really takes about a year to a year and a half to build your clientele. You know, so, you know, it's, it's a hard work. Any other questions, guys? It's the truth. So one more time, remember everybody watching this video, and I know I, I've said it, this will be the third time, but I wanted it kind of at the beginning, yeah, ahead, no in problem. the middle, yeah, of course, and at of the course. end. Anybody who's seeing this and wants to try Shark Fin, if you go to our webpage, please, 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 if you see it, if you see this video and go to Shark Fin because of MC, make sure you enter the, the letter M and the letter C in the promo code area, and you will get a free ProLine Stainless Swivel or non-swivel, five and a half or six and a quarter inch cutting shear for free with any purchase. All you have to do is enter MC's initials in the promo area. So, hold on. If they buy a scissor and they yep. don't like it, do they have a full refund? Yes. 30-day 30 full, 30 day unconditional money-back guarantee on all of our shears. Uh, that's, I mean, that's, that's so not it, just for you. That's for anybody. Yeah, so but in general, yes. full days. Unconditional money-back guarantee, full refund. The only reason you wouldn't, guys, is if for, if you beat the sh like if it looks like you ran it through the garbage disposal or something. You know what I mean? Like we're not we're not trying to pull Shout the wool over anybody's eyes. It's like cool. a second or third person from Ukraine, isn't it? Yeah, I, listen. Yeah, we get nice. people from all over all the world. Over the world. That's really, honestly. Cool. Uh, yeah, pop so over nice. to Shark Fin Willie. I need some people from Brazil and Ukraine. And yeah. <laughs> I, all right, guys. Again, I'm going to be in France in September. Uh, I'm looking for a barber shop uh to allow me to practice for four or five days and i'm also looking for a model for fading competition so if you guys are from france it's going to be in paris in september please let me know uh just so you know that's a great question he, this person is asking mc and lowercase or mc and uppercase and the answer is it doesn't matter uppercase you put no it no it does not matter oh, no oh, matter you how that. you put it in it will accept the promo Cool. That's cool. No matter how you put it in, if you have any issues, so, so you can you can you can so you email can, me at Willie W I L L Y at SharkFinShears.com, and I'll take care so of it. So your scissors start from three hundred and go all the way to eight hundred, right? A little less than three hundred, actually. Okay. I'm just rounding up to three hundred. Cool. So yeah. anyway, you guys can get scissors anywhere from uh, three hundred dollars to eight hundred dollars. Um, you have four four lines, you said. Uh, so we lines. do we do uh, we do cosmetology and barbering kits. We do a pro, pro plus, double shark, monarch, and Damascus. So technically, we have five lines and I see. and um, barbering kits. But inside of those lines, we have texturizers and slider shears and swivel and super swivel and all kinds of stuff. Go ahead. Uh, which one? This one. MC. An interesting point you made before was that in Europe and. You was in Europe, and their fades are still in infant stage. Can you explain a little, sir? Uh oh, I didn't catch that comment. I must uh, have been getting a drink of my... water. So Europeans are. Uh, this is what I personally believe uh, from seeing European work, and I was in Europe, in France, and I was, uh, I saw them doing the barbering, the fading, the way we do it. Uh, I believe Europeans are very good when it comes to styling. But when it comes to fading, uh, the way we fade, I think they are still uh, really uh, just kind of getting into it. They are not at the level that uh, U.S. barbers are. That's my opinion, but I could be wrong. So I'm sure there will be a barber that will be uh, that can kick <laughs> our butt. But uh, I, didn't I saw, say that. yeah, I, saw, <laughs> I, I, I that's what I saw. That's what I believe that you know. I, and I'm European myself. I go in European barber shops. And you know, I don't. I still don't see those blurry fades 
that you see from urban barbers. I'll, that's, I'll take your word for it. You that's know. what I believe, but I might be wrong. So if I'm wrong, MC is wrong, but that's my belief. What pair would you recommend for thicker fingers? Always have trouble finding big enough holes. Thanks uh, again. I'm located in Lafayette, <laughs> Indiana in the house, man. I'm from Indiana. All right, Representing guys. Representing in the house. So here's what's cool. I'll answer that question. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. go ahead, man. MC doesn't, MC doesn't use our finger fitting system, but with all of our shears, you get these finger fitting hold systems. On, hold on. Right, and it comes with eleven different sizes. Eleven different sizes. Eleven different sizes. Wow. Um, I'm I'm probably wrong on that. Your boy here has. Yeah, all right. So, if you look, these will literally, of course, these will quite literally pop in and out of each other. So if you have thicker fingers or thinner fingers, skinnier fingers. Um, short fingers, long fingers. Listen, I, I really don't care how big your fingers are. I think these should fit you because... Yeah. <laughs> One of the things MC said earlier was the, the finger holes are too big. I honestly said... And I said, said they're not. And here, here we, here's a perfect example of somebody who says that you have trouble finding a shear. <laughs> this guy says he has sausage fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here's the deal, Jake. Uh, Jake Townsend. So uh, Indiana in the house. That's awesome. Uh, I'm in. We're in Connecticut. I'm in Connecticut now, but, but yeah, I grew Indiana, up. Right? I grew up in Southern Indiana, um, so you know. Here we go. So anyway, um, so I don't yeah. think you'll have any issues with the finger sizes on our shears. I honestly think that's why we offer so many different sizes. These have actually pretty big. Uh, it actually, guys, listen. It took me a little bit to get used to these <laughs> because I don't like the inserts. So it took me a couple of days using these to actually, you know, control them. Because the, the rings are kind of large. so yeah. Jake, check them out. 30-day money-back guarantee on any of our shears if you're not happy with them for any reason, right? Um, find me on Instagram, Sharkfin. That's S-H-A-R-K-F-I-N underscore W-I-L-L-Y. And if I can help out in any way, I'll be more than happy to. So, wow. So I fingers. I, <laughs> uh, what pair would you? Okay, so that's, that's the same thing cool yeah so again guys i'll be in france in september uh it's a hair world competition it's a world competition this time they're gonna have a fading competition you know i hope that nobody I hope, I, they're gonna come out of they're they're gonna come out of the proverbial woodwork now just but you know to what go i honestly MC. you know I mean, what? that's great it'll push you you know what i honestly don't care <laughs> oh challenge accepted no like <laughs> even when i competed here right yes i always used to tell barbers like you know what i'm gonna take the trophy i don't care who you are you can come to connecticut <laughs> wasting your money mc barber is gonna win the competition well shit and everyone be, who's competitive believe yeah. they're the best and I mean, uh people will get in. like upset with me i was like listen don't bother i'm gonna keep the look i i kept my promises i was like conor mcgregor in hair cutting you know what yeah waste your time and come over here Note to self conor mcgregor don't get in the ring with floyd mayweather <laughs> yeah but i'm gonna keep the trophy i promise i'm gonna keep the trophy i kept the trophies do you ever use a straightener to style hair i actually guys don't use the straightener uh i didn't have to until now uh, depends on the styles that come in the future guys MC Barber never says my way or highway if the straightener works for you and you are happy and it gives you good results it's absolutely fine uh, maybe there are times as a matter of fact I'll tell you this I was thinking to do keratin treatments for guys right and there I believe you have to use the straightener so it's something I might be doing in the future and demonstrate it for you guys so it depends. I don't. I haven't used it until now. I believe as long as the hair is about three to four inches, I can straighten pretty much almost any hair with a blow dryer, uh, with a blow dryer and a brush. But if you have to use the straightener, absolutely nothing wrong with it. I don't believe only uh, certain tools or certain techniques are okay. Everything that works is perfect. This this cat says you better pray that I don't come to France, MC. <laughs> <laughs> I pray that you come to France. This cat says you better pray. Who is this guy? I don't come. Yeah, I don't come to to France. Uh, his his. I, you know, I don't want to say his name, but I will if you want me to. Go ahead, man. His name is is Fouquet. 
Listen, my friend. I pray that you come to France. <laughs> I love it. This is all in good nature, by the way. Uh, of course, so, it's good it's, nature. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell go, you a story. Going back to the straightener, um, I worked in a in a salon in West Hartford for the better part of four years, and and I. Uh, very rarely ever did a perms, but I did do some perming on men's hair uh, for uh, very thick, straight hair. Um, uh, it, both of my clients were were of Asian descent, so we, we did some perming just to give it some mm. movement so it wasn't so straight. Um, but something I can speak to is the, the keratin treatments. So yeah, I did a, I did a lot of those, do, uh, but I did a lot of women's hair as well. So, uh, guys, so. regarding the competition, one year, uh, the, the promoter of Kinetic Barber Expo, because uh, you know, I, I don't want to praise myself, but it's not right. But you know, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna say it because <laughs> honestly, I was kind of always favored to win the competition. Right. I mean, I won nine trophies in that yeah. competition, right? So one year, one year, the, the promoter came to me and says, "MC, you can't, you can't. I want to make a <laughs> promotional video, but I want you to call out all the barbers." Nice. So uh, we made a promotional video where I called out all the barbers, right? <laughs> I said, "This is MC Barber." Uh, you know, I call out all the barbers in the United States. Uh, I'm going to win the Connecticut Barber Expo. Bring your A game. You know, it was something like of this nature, right? Yeah. And I said, look at my trophies. They are lonely. They want more trophies <laughs> there. So I'm going to take those trophies and bring them there. Right. So I was at the competition. This guy walks up to me. He goes like, you know, I saw your video and I brought my A game. I was like, what video? I have a few videos. So I was like, what are you talking about? He said, I brought my A game. You called out all the barbers. I was like, okay, so where do you come from? He goes like, I'm from Florida, from Miami. I was like, man, you should have stayed there, waste <laughs> your money. You won, right? I did okay, win. Okay, of course. <laughs> so of course. fortunately, I really won that year. So I was very fortunate. Nice. Okay. So I think we're we're all caught. Yeah, we're good. All right. So I'm going to be in France again in September. Uh, hopefully, this guy is in France too because I want to look forward to at least somebody that I know I beat. We'll be in, <laughs> we, we will actually be in London at the show in October. In October? Yeah. But you know, guys, not going to be in, in, uh, in as of as of right now. We're not going to be in France, but we're doing we're doing a lot of cool stuff this oh, year. Oh, in so. October. So you're going to be in London? <laughs> yes. Yep. So maybe, guys, I will set a class in London in October. And come with shark with a uh, shark fin, uh, because I have a lot of uh, fans in UK that constantly asking me when are you gonna come to UK and teach yeah. a class. You never know, maybe in uh, October. <laughs> what is this? He, he says, "Why are you so funny in your in the videos, but when you're working, you're so serious?" It goes uh, into the professionalism, right? Yes, I'm not. Right? You know, there's well, no one like, sitting listen, in the chair. So, sometimes with the barbers, right? I can be funny because they are my colleagues. All these my all fans, yeah. they are my colleagues. Yes. Honestly, right. I consider them like my colleagues. Yeah. With a client, and I can joke, and we can take the jokes and stuff like that. With a client, you don't know what offense yeah, client. I what, agree. You know. So I like to keep like professionalism. I don't like to like. I will never ever, guys, uh, make a joke on expense of the client. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, this is not acceptable, no matter how long I know them. And my clients are my clients. They are not my like uh, my boys, my buddies. I don't hang out with them. You know, do you hang out with your dentist? You know, <laughs> you know do you hang out with your doctor? No. no, you go see them, you know? I mean, you gotta be friendly, you gotta be nice, but you gotta be professional. With you guys, I can make jokes. You know, and I can take jokes and it's like that. But right. uh, with the clients, it's not like well, that. Well, that goes into the professionalism part. And you know what? I went to one of my clients who is very, uh, one of my cousins who is very successful in the restaurant. And he has a restaurant. Let me just give a shout out to my cousin in Kensington, uh, Connecticut. He has a restaurant called Portofino's. And he's very successful, very busy, good food though. So we were does sitting. Do, it does, wait, wait. Does any of your family have a restaurant that's not good food? Every no, restaurant good. I've eaten at, and I'm good. You're like, yeah, that's my family. Yeah. I'm like, of course it is. So it was funny. <laughs> like it was late. It was like almost nine o'clock. We were in the corner boot sitting, uh, and he came over. You know, he was standing, and there was one more table sitting there. Right. One, one table more, left. Yeah. Yeah. One table left, and I was like, come on, man, sit down. He goes like, no, I never sit down when I have client bar. Uh, I mean, customers in the in, in no, dining room. I will never sit down. He thinks that's disrespect for yeah. customers. So, but he's very successful though. So he takes it serious, and I take my work serious. I can joke and laugh with you guys, but you know what? I mean, I would not do it with the clients. Uh, Fuket wants to know if he has to be invited to participate. I believe if you're mean, 
uh, do you need to be invited to the Connecticut Barber Expo to participate? No, no, this is Canada. So uh, regarding this competition, okay. you have to talk to your uh, Canadian team. Uh, these are countries. Uh, the world competition in Paris is actually okay. countries. So you have to be part of Canadian team or you have to have a trainer. It's not just like show up with a case and, you know, I'm ready to compete. It's, these are not like, uh, these are Olympics. World. Yeah. yeah, this is, uh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Come to London MC. Let us know. So I really would like to go in October in in England and set up, um, uh, you know, edu 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 educational class. Go together. What is it? You turn the celebrity barber from India into a real celebrity with that haircut you give him, man. Yeah, man. I was very fortunate, honestly, guys, that uh, the celebrity barber from India was here with me for a week. Even the actor that he cuts hair for uh, was here, got a haircut from me. We actually gonna have that video on my channel soon. Was that the gentleman that was here like a, a couple weeks ago? Or yeah, a month the ago? yeah, the Indian. Same time uh, as the cat from Chicago. And the, yeah, the yeah, same, right. Yeah, okay. yeah, I had two students yeah, that week. Yeah. Cool. I didn't know that. Man. Yeah. I was I was with a celebrity and I didn't even know it. Do you enjoy getting haircuts as much as giving haircuts? I actually enjoy getting haircuts more than I enjoy giving haircuts. <laughs> Honestly, I do. And you know, guys, this is one thing that I actually do. I will go to a barber shops and sit down and have the whole experience of getting a haircut, not just in my barber shop, so I can learn from that experience myself. I want to know how does a client actually feels when he's in the chair. Here, you don't get yourself into trouble. What's your opinion on Turkish traditional barbering and the difference it's made in the barbering industry? What is your opinion on the Turkish, Turkish. traditional barbering? I what, what is the Turkish traditional barbering? I really don't know. I, I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry. I don't really sorry. know what the traditional, but in general, the traditional barbering and barbering today is actually, I believe, quite different. Uh, we are more, at least I and my salon, we are more of a stylist barbers, not just like barbers just cut hair in 10 minutes and next, please. I'm a new subscriber and beginner barber cutting my teenage kids' hair. Enjoy the videos and education. Honestly, I'm happy to hear that. That's all my channel is about, to educate you guys. I honestly try to provide you the fundamentals of barbering, the techniques, the fundamentals on the razor, the fundamentals on scissors clippers, hairstyling, how to approach hairstyles. So my channel is not really designed for entertainment, it's designed for uh, education. So I'm really glad, I'm very happy that uh, people are actually benefiting from my channel. It's worthwhile all the effort I put into it. So if you guys are watching and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because I put a lot to it and you will benefit. Um, God has blessed me with the skills and ability to work, and I thank God every day for that. It is so. so uh, I'm sorry. I'll start over. It right. is so interesting. You say that hair hair drying techniques is probably the hardest stuff to perfect. That's for sure, without any doubts. And listen, if you don't think so, come and take my class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had the Indian celebrity barber, right? And I had another gentleman. I won't say where he's from. 27 years of he's a hairstylist came to take a class for me right and he was doing everything pretty good you know his father was a style barber he's a hairstylist for 27 years until we came to hairstyling and that's where people usually get stuck uh hairstyling is not easy i mean it, it's an art with an art so if barbering is an art hairstyling is an art within that art mm -hmm. you got to be able to move the hair, to create the flows, to make the hair smooth, to change the direction of the growth of the hair, right? If the hair is going this way and you want it the other way, you got to be able to do that. It's not just like, you know, drying the hair as many people do and then applying the product. Uh, if you are trying to create styles, if you are, you know, if you just want to dry the hair and put a product, then you can do so. One of the hardest things I, I learned blow drying techniques and getting hair to stay stay where you put it I'm just uh, I watch your videos and you're a great stylist at what you do sir but Turkish barbering isn't about cutting hair uh, in, in 10, 10 minutes. minutes and on the next I, I went and on to the next what I meant was the impact it's had in the industry but I, I'm not I, I don't know we are in the United States so I really don't know uh, 
traditional. I have to look up yeah. traditional Turkish barbering. I have I to look up. And if it's something that I can benefit from, I'm definitely going to yeah. go to Turkey and learn it. I don't have a problem with that. I never said I am the best. I never said I know everything. Last year alone, I spent six grand on education myself. So I constantly take classes. If I know that someone knows something I don't, I'll be there to learn it. When you were learning to cut with your, your left, are you right-handed? I'm you right-handed. Right no, I'm right-handed. I'm not So lefty. this person wants to know when you were learning to cut hair with your left, with your left hand, did, did you ever make mistakes? Man, and actually, I, it says, quote, did you ever ruin anybody's hair? I don't think I ever ruin anybody's hair, honestly, but I still make mistakes with my right hand. <laughs> so, <laughs> so again, guys, I'm just a guy, a human, all right? And I, not a machine. Not a machine, as Hamza said. <laughs> I make mistakes until this day. So don't think that if you ever make a mistake or something is not going your way, that this is not for you. <laughs> Nobody is perfect. A lot of times you guys just see the best of us, but you don't see the worst of us. A lot of times we, we only post the, the best, best pictures <laughs> and the best videos, but That's the right. bad ones we put on the side. Yeah. So we are just like you. Do not be fooled by anyone. Do you recommend Lorite? Layrite. Layrite. I'm sorry. This, they, they didn't pronounce it. Okay. They write it right. They, okay. You probably meant Layrite. I do actually rec recommend Layrite. That's one company that I keep here. Yeah, I don't have much stuff. I got to make an order. I am not sponsored by them. But again, guys, I have, I'm not working for them. I don't do anything for them. But because my channel is for education and for benefit of barbers and stylists i promote anything that i believe in even if the people don't benefit me back uh unless they are really arrogant and rude so like american crew i'll tell you straight out i think american crew is worthless i won't buy anything from them i won't deal with them they don't benefit us period they don't do education they don't they don't do anything they think they are too big for for barbers and for stylists so i don't deal with them but uh, Leirai, they are very involved in the barbering community. They support us. They help us uh, with education. And actually, that was the only company that last year when I was competing uh, donated for my competition, uh, uh, you know, a few boxes of a product, which I sold and got money in return for my competition, which I really appreciated. Uh, but at least they had a tote of, uh, you know, us and support for barbers. But besides that, they are, they are actually very good. I use them myself. And they are not complicated. They have, I believe, five products. Uh, this is not really about them, but uh, I'm just going to tell you. They have five products. They have uh, shine and matte finish. High hold and medium hold in each. And then they have super shine. So it's a nice, it's a nice company. I like them. You should consider a business in London. The service you provide, from what I've seen with your videos, would be a huge success. Hey, let's move to London. You want to start a barbershop? No, but uh. my no. But I tell you, this, I tell you this though. My I have a system, MC Barber system. My system has four categories. Each category has about uh, eight to ten uh, different techniques. I have scissor category, clipper category, razor category, and styling category. Right. I honestly believe in my system. I believe that my system one day will be international, worldwide system. Just like you had a ruffler back in the day. Uh, I honestly believe someday my system will make it uh, because it's simple, uh, gives you, uh, you know, it covers all aspects of our of this craft, uh, you know, and uh, it, it's just great system, man. I mean, I train my barbers. Literally within six months, my barbers are... Uh, you know, excellent barbers. That's you know, I, and I honestly believe in it. I believe in my system. I wrote a manual. It's not printed, but you know, four categories. Each category has a different techniques. The te techniques have their names and the ex you know description explanation how they are executed. This person says, "What's up, MC?" Not really. They say, "Hi, MC." You can use razor sculpting technique almost on every hair, or only on people with a lot of thick hair, because I think the texture, I think its textures thins and blends hair. I think they're asking, in your opinion, can, can you, you use, use a razor on all hair, all hair types? Almost, but not all. So, like for example, if somebody has really fine hair, I would not necessarily use a sculpting technique. If a person has extremely curly hair extremely curly hair it does it also doesn't work 
So that's why, I, again, I say my system has four categories, four different, uh, you know, four different categories. And in those four categories, you have techniques for all hair types and uh, for, you know, all, all hair textures. Right. Makes sense to me. I was always told when I was learning to cut hair in all the razor classes that I did that we we don't, you know, not every tools for every style. No, I say and, that all and the we time. should know. Yeah, I mean you've said I it say, multiple times today. I say all the time. I, I, I definitely don't. I don't just razor cut to razor cut. I do it for a purpose. What my finished look is, what I want the hair to do, uh, the 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 texture of the hair, the density of the hair, all those things are taken into account. Uh, He's going on a date next oh, week. Oh man, he needs a haircut from me. Listen, well, listen, my friend. Uh, it, next week when you go on a date. Mess up your hair. Don't <laughs> make yourself look good. There. Have her like you for who you are, That's not right. what you look for, uh, what and you then look you like. Get over here as quick as possible and get a haircut. Yeah. So, don't dress up the best. Don't make your hair the best. Make sure she likes you for who you are, not what you look like. Okay. If she likes you for what you look like, somebody else will look better someday than you. And there you go. She goes. <laughs> All right. So uh, make sure she likes you for who you are. All right, guys, we are just really closing up. It's yeah. after 8. We are in Hartford, Connecticut. Um, so let's see if you have a couple more questions. We're going to go. What did, What was it? What did he say? Uh, it, it went away. That answered my question. Is that, oh, no, hold on. He's trying to master the 1.5 fade technique, but struggling. All right, so, guys, regarding that start. technique, right, even my barbers, I have four barbers. Uh, the common problem with that, and you probably don't know what they are saying, huh? One and a half. No, no, I do. That, that's in my system, okay. MC Barber system, fading, one and a half. A lot of barbers are actually afraid to go too high because they think they will cut too much hair and they will ruin the hairstyle. But if you learn how to do the, the, the technique properly, you will actually not. So it is, people are usually, I have to kind of coach them, honestly. And every student I thought had an issue with that one and a half. But I have to coach them. Once you get it, it's the best technique, period, though. When, MC are the best. Uh, when using thinning shears, how far down the length of the hair should you take the cut? Make the well, cut? depends on what you're doing. So, for example, I was actually using, the other day, I decided to use thinning shears instead of razor, just to change the technique, just to change the tool, right? Mm -hmm. So, it depends. If the person has extremely thick hair, right, and you want to create texture, and you want to create a spiky top, you know, on his hair, I actually was starting from the scalp itself. So I started from scalp, right, a couple of times. Then I said, I looked at it and I said, okay, it's getting a little bit thin. thin. So I don't want to make his hair like look like he's thinning. So then I started, you can start from scalp, then you can skip a few, and then start from scalp again if you want. But depends how long the hair is, depends what style you are creating. So, I mean, this is not just something, you know, I can just start from here or there depends on what you're doing so that you can start with experience yes right, MC? so sometimes you can start from skin other times depends on the style okay so uh what is this big fan from the uk a hey, four hours mc can i oh you want me to read that for go you ahead, go ahead. mc system is like no other system out there i took a 40-hour class with mc and i can say i learned more with mc than the time i spent in barber school that's, that's pretty I'm really glad sense. that this is so. And then we have MC, what's up? Chris Bazio, what's up with you, man? You never answer the phone. I, <laughs> shout out to Chris Bazio, guys. He's another educator on YouTube. Uh, I, his channel is Chris Bazio, simple as that. Uh, the only thing is the guy doesn't answer the phone. <laughs> I was there last week and I called him. I had some extra time. I was going to stop by his barbershop, but didn't answer. There He's you too go. Busy cutting hair. Another big fan from the UK. Um, Love this person loves the Q and A streams. Just wanted to say it's been a real education and a laugh. Uh, can you repeat promotion for Shark Fin, uh, Sandra? The promotion with Shark Fin is if you use the the letter M and the letter C. So MC in the promo code when you buy a pair of shears, you get a free Pro Line swivel or non swivel stainless cutting shear in five and a half or six and a quarter. So any shear you buy, use the promo code MC. You get a free pro line cutting shear. Well, this guy says that Chris Basio owes me hundred bucks. Because... <laughs> no, 
That's why he's not answering Chris Bazio, the phone. Chris you owes me 100 bucks, man. <laughs> you made a challenge to me. I had to buy all the equipment that cost me $100 for a challenge. So you owe me 100 bucks. When I see you, I want my 100 bucks. <laughs> I... Is uh, MC, is there ever a line of people outside waiting to get a haircut from you? So not with me anymore because I only do appointments. But before, when I, when I didn't do appointments, right, I used to just first come, first serve. There were times when I would have 18 people outside. It was so funny. I swear, you know, it would like be like nine degrees outside, right? <laughs> people be waiting. And people are waiting. There is a whole line. Like, it's like you are like in front of an Apple store, like a new product coming out. I literally used to have 18 people waiting on the line. The new MC10? Yeah. But now I only do appointments. So whether you are waiting or not, if you don't have appointment. I kicked out my own son from barbershop. They didn't have appointment. Oh, sorry. I think we are right here. Uh, line of people. Uh, Basio said you called me. Now he's sad. He. Um, why should you challenge uh, MC? You should challenge. Uh, you should challenge uh, Chris. Chris Basio. Yes. And- yeah. So uh, Chris Basio and uh, GZ, <laughs> get that mannequin over there. I just want to let you know you guys should get one of these mannequins. So hold on. Whether it's you just tell me you want me to challenge you on this mannequin or that mannequin. And I will, I'm going to do style, show you how it's done. And then you're gonna, <laughs> you guys going to have to repeat the style. So I hope you are still there. Uh, and honestly, you know what, guys? These challenges that are on YouTube are actually very beneficial i don't think people should take these challenges wrong i don't think they should take them uh like this is not actual competition (laughs) it really is not at least for me the fact that uh chris basio challenged me to do that uh color enhancement uh what it did for me it made me learn how to do color enhancement and i added a service in my shop which I didn't before, and if he didn't challenge me, I most probably would have never, uh, I most probably would have never done it. So I, I honestly appreciate it. So I learned something from him. Do you, uh, we're here, right? So, yeah. yep. Do you recommend any particular all around shears, someone who has just started recently? What is the question? Uh, Go ahead, answer. What particular brand? So uh, with Sharkfin, which is you know who I'm representing and who MCs come on board with, um, I would recommend for you the Pro Plus line. Japanese. Uh, all of our shears are forged, hand welded, ball bearing pivot system. All of our shears are uh, Japanese in the Pro Plus line. Japanese Hitachi 440A, unconditional lifetime warranty, accidental drop. 30-day money-back guarantee on all of our shears. So, Bila, go ahead, go ahead. Are you done? So, when you when you go online to buy that Pro Plus line, use the use the promo code MC. That's the letter M, the letter C, and you'll get a free Pro line cutting shear as well. So, Hamza, uh, Bilal wants a haircut. The guy that was here for class. So, uh, Bilal, whenever you come in in my shop, he's from Connecticut. You are welcome. I, he's one of my favorite students that came to see me. He's, I believe, from Stanford, Connecticut very humble guy he's actually I, I don't know if he started working in uh in a barber shop if you have my friend let me know if anybody asks me for a barber in your area i'll be more than happy to refer him to you he's a very humble guy very hard working guy and i honestly believe that he's going to be an excellent barber uh let's go okay chris i really want to learn it believe me you will have a challenge <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy but uh it's a good thing to learn man so you are an educator you need to learn how to blow dry and style hair, and this doesn't go directly to you. It goes directly to every barber. You got to learn how to finish the hairstyle. Uh, I did last year, and most likely I will do it again this year. I know I'm not on the list of uh, Jay's educators, uh, but uh, I will be at the, uh, we'll have a boot at Shark Fin, and I will be doing that hairstyle. So stop by the boot. And you will see how to. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions on styling. Can you cook as good as you can cut hair? Can I cook? I can. can I cannot. I can bo- cook. I cannot boil eggs. Man. <laughs> so you can't. No. The answer to that is no. He can burn toast. I can't even boil eggs. <laughs> That's actually difficult. Hard boiled eggs aren't an easy thing to do. No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. You just put them in the water. When they're well, done, just they just said come you up. couldn't do it. How do you? <laughs> that was a long time ago. I used to, guys. I used to be homeless. I used to be uh, 
I, I used to be I'm like, you house. know, I didn't have a place. So sometimes I would have to learn to survive. So, but I learned, I think eggs, you put them in the cold water or, or hot water. You know? <laughs> I, used to, I used to put it in cold water because we didn't have hot water back then. <laughs> and wait for the, for the fire to boil. make the boil. And when the eggs are ready, they come on the top. Boom. That's it, right? Hard-boiled eggs. The only problem, you got to learn how to peel them. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately uh, run them in, under cool water. It helps the eggshell come off. So I've been told I don't know anything about okay. it. Okay. Do you say... Well, what is the MC? Uh, do it at Connecticut. MC, the godfather of barbering and... and uh, and, and I'm, I hopefully I'm pronounced, Chris, I apologize. It's Basio, correct? Is how oh. you pronounce it? The Fresh Prince of Fades. So you're the godfather of barbering, and Chris is the Fresh Prince of, of Fades, according Fine to uh, according to Erin and Stephen. MC, do you support Conor McGregor or Floyd Mayweather? That's probably from the comment it's earlier. I apologize. Uh, listen, why? But there is no, this is all cool, man. I wish, I'm going to have to set up better, like, uh, uh, live streaming than this so so we can have more you know i actually enjoy uh, talking to my fans yeah. interacting yeah. interacting with my yeah. with my fans um i like both of them you know i know i only watch mayweather fight one time in in my lifetime and that's with mcgregor no twice i'm sorry he beat my favorite boxer which is uh uh manny pacquiao uh that's my favorite boxer right uh and then I watched him beat McGregor. It, it, isn't so, that kind of tough? Because McGregor is not a boxer. He's a, yeah, he's a fighter. Yeah, but this is, this, is what so it, it's like, this is what I say about Mayweather, right? Mayweather, for me, is the best boxer of all time, mm -hmm. okay? You can say whatever you want. People hate him because he's cocky, because he's that, because he's this. Guy has his style. He has never lost in 50 years. I mean, in 50 fights. He beat... My favorite fighter, who I thought was the best, and I still believe he's one of the best, you know, Manny Pacquiao, uh, he is great. Conor McGregor, you know what? He's an excellent uh, MMA fighter. You can hate him for his trash talk, but he's, he backs up most of the things he does. I hope that he gets to fight Habib, and I hope that Habib destroys him. <laughs> but that's what I believe. I like both of them, but my, I, I'd say better fighter is Manny Pacquiao. Cool. I mean, uh, Mayweather. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, look, if, if they're going to box Mayweather, if they're going to get in no, and fight MMA, I'm going to I'm gonna take McGregor. So it's just two totally different no, things. No, I think right? they're going to do now, uh, they're going to fight now in the, UF, in the cage, UFC. So Mayweather's going to fight McGregor in the cage. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I heard. I don't McGregor know if it's going to happen. Will, McGregor will destroy him in 30 Not seconds. Not necessarily, because this guy is learning how to grapple. So this guy is, if he, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Manny Pacquiao and fan in the house yeah uh mayweather learned the mc system <laughs> he said boxing mayweather period. learned the mc system of boxing you period. got it my friend i mean you got the, he's all around boxer <laughs> okay what you want to go home <laughs> all right yeah, i want to go to rudy's all right guys my son hamza is getting hungry yeah so i mean when he's hungry he's angry <laughs> hey, honestly angry. guys angry Angry. Angry. angry okay guys angry. it was my pleasure uh to interact with you to share no my knowledge with you uh and it was my pleasure to have a willie from shark fin here uh guys if you have any questions please submit them the more questions we have on a particular topic we will we'll, uh you know more videos. we'll more yeah we'll make more videos uh, and we are more than happy to educate you especially on the scissors you deserve it the uh, industry deserves of it of course i mean we need to raise our yes. level i mean barbers today guys get paid less than they were getting paid in the 70s and 80s when you compare it with uh inflation mm -hmm. so i listen english my second language easy way to get out so i'm not <laughs> i'm not sure how i'm supposed to say that but that's what i learned that I learned that barbers actually made more money than, than they make today when you compare the inflation and everything. So we need to raise ourselves back up. We are better in men's hairstyle and cutting than hairstyles. They are making more money than us. We need to take ourselves up and be with them and make just as much money. So we have to, education is the key. We have to educate ourselves. So honestly, I'm more than happy to educate you and educate myself. When I'm educating you, before I do any education for you guys, I do research and I educate myself. 
you know, I don't just like to say what's on the, what comes on my mind. I honestly like the facts. And if sometimes I'm wrong, you guys feel free to question it and tell me, MC, it, it's not quite like that. I'll be more than happy to research it and make sure what I say to you is actual fact. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Willie, thank you for being my here. Pleasure. It was thank my you. pleasure. We'll do it again. And until next time, guys, take care of yourself, work hard, and I'll see you again. Thank you so much.